So to avoid such controversies, the Supreme Court thought it fit to appoint uh, this kind of an amalgam, you know, a mixed entity, SIT. Now, all, for better or for worse, this is what he thought he could do. This is the best he could do. So one can understand. He was the one who said that, you know, the, uh, these uh, witnesses should be given protection from central paramilitary forces. He is the one who, uh, as the head of the bench, who uh, decided that uh, this uh, Zakia Jafri's complaint should be referred to the SIT. That Pasayat, Pasayat's bench in uh, 2009, right? Now, soon after this decision of his on uh, Zakia Jafri's uh, complaint, he retires. And now that bench, uh, after that the bench, bench was headed by one Justice D.K. Jain. Now, the attitude of uh, this bench was not uh, as uh, activist, let's say, as uh, Pasayat's bench. And uh, we saw in um, 2011, very all of a sudden, they withdrew the monitoring of this Zakia Jafri complaint, saying that uh, now it has uh, the case is fit to be uh, filed before uh, a magistrate as a final report. That final report could be either a charge sheet or a closure report. So the, the stage of investigation is over. Now the investigating agency, that is the SIT, is ready to file uh, uh, its final report before the magistrate, so we will withdraw at this stage. Now this is not the attitude that uh, another bench, for instance, dealing with 2G matters had. They were FI, uh, these charge sheets were being filed, and even then the monitoring, the Supreme Court monitoring was continuing in the, in the larger context of uh, uh, 2G. But here they were being very technical, and they suddenly withdrew and uh, they did not give, more importantly, the Amicus Curie's report, the importance, the respect it deserves. The Amicus Curie very categorically said that a case was made out against uh, Modi and a case was made out against two senior police officers, Tandon and Gondia, who I mentioned earlier in the presentation. Now, all these uh, Recommendations of uh, uh, this, uh, the Amicus Curie, Raju Ramachandran, an eminent lawyer, were uh, disregarded by the SIT. It gave its reasons for doing so. But, uh, I mean, there was much force in what uh, the, uh, the uh, Amicus Curie said that if there are questions about uh, that evidence that is there against uh, Modi, that stage for the, those questions being raised is the trial. You know, you have to look at uh, for the, the real stage at which you can test the veracity of evidence is during the trial, when witnesses would be put in the witness box and they would be cross-examined by the other side. So it is not for the investigating agency to uh, disregard all this and say, no, uh, no prima facie case is also made out. I mean, that is untrue. There was enough prima facie case for proceedings to take place against uh, Modi and others. This is what the Amicus Curie, Raju Ramachandran, appointed by the Supreme Court, said. And yet, uh, we saw what happened. I mean, the SIT completely disregarded it. And conveniently, by then, uh, the uh, Supreme Court was not monitoring this case anymore. So there was no remedy available to uh, the complainant, Zakia Jafri, before the Supreme Court. It was no more with the Supreme Court. So whatever she had to do, she had to do it before the magistrate in Ahmedabad, who did hear the protest petition filed by Zakia Jafri. And uh, recently, that is on December 26, uh, 2013, uh, rejected uh, Zakia Jafri's protest petition and upheld the uh, closure report filed by the SIT. That's where we stand.